Calibration of Air Blast Sprayers for Vineyards Part 2 Measuring Liquid Flow This video is also available in metric. When using pesticides, be very careful. There is great danger that pesticides will contaminate you. So wear proper personal protective clothing and equipment. Steps to assure proper calibration of your sprayer. Number one, choose the correct nozzles from the application chart. Step two, determine the ground speed of your tractor and sprayer in your vineyard. Step 3. Adjust the pressure of the spray manifold to the chart recommended value. Step 4. Measure the actual flow from each nozzle. And 5. Check and repair any faulty nozzles and then recheck. Before determining forward speed, fill the sprayer with one half tank full of water. This will provide us with the average weight. Note the space or gap between the hose and the tank. Next, mark out a 100 foot long course in which to drive the tractor and sprayer over. Ideally, it would be in the vineyard as you see in the video. The ground conditions will be typical of what you will be spraying on. Measure out 100 feet and then place the marker at the end of that 100 feet. The reasons for checking ground speed is due to soil type, the average weight of the sprayer and the slope of the terrain. Use a stopwatch to time the run through the course. Simple handheld stopwatch. Drive the tractor and sprayer over the 100 foot course and record the time taken in seconds. Start the stopwatch as the front tire passes the flag. Continue at a constant engine speed along the 100 foot course. As the front tire passes the last flag, stop the stopwatch. Note down your time, the gear selected and the engine speed for the course run. Formula for cal calculating miles per hour ground speed is feet travelled divided by the time it takes in seconds multiplied by 60 over 88. Alternatively purchase a GPS handheld device which will give you an instant display of your forward speed. For calibrating nozzle flow, set the pressure of the nozzle manifold to that recommended in the nozzle catalogue. Here you see the pressure regulating handle and above it the pressure gauge. Adjust the pressure regulating handle to give you your desired pressure. The following procedure will assure proper flow at each nozzle. Attach hoses to each nozzle to be able to measure the flow. We will demonstrate five methods of attaching hoses. Method one is to use a milking machine teat cup liner. You see the liner fits over the top of the nozzle. Method two is to use a purpose made clamp system. The clamp fits over the top of the nozzle. Method three is a variation upon method one, a simple hose connector. Method four is the most popular. This is to use a hose with hose clamps. Note the hoses are attached to the outside of the nozzle and each hose clamp is tightened to provide a leak proof seal. Method five is to purchase a flow meter which will give you a direct reading in gallons per minute. Next, with a stopwatch, time the flow from each nozzle for 60 seconds. Use a graduated cylinder if the flow rate is small. Here you see the graduated cylinder and the stopwatch being used. 
Use a large container if flow rate is large. Here you see the stopwatch and the large container being used. The container is then put in the box and the hose from the next nozzle is then set near the container the stopwatch is set and then as soon as the hose is placed in the container you start the stopwatch for one minute continue with the other containers one container for each nozzle place the containers in the transit box continue until all nozzles have been calibrated on the right hand side then repeat the exercise on the left side containers are then taken to be to have their contents measured in a calibrated vessel. Here you see the five containers from the right side. So container one is now being decanted into the measuring cylinder. 41 fluid ounces is our desired rate. Right down the level in the tube. Nozzle two. Note this water level nozzle 3 again note the water level in the graduated cylinder it is so important to use clean water during this process of calibration Continue with this assignment, in this case nozzle number 4, record the details of the level in the calibrated vessel, and then finally nozzle number 5 is decanted into the calibrated vessel. Note the level in the calibration jar. Repeat the process for the nozzles on the left side of the sprayer. Record the fluid ounces from each nozzle on both sides of the sprayer. This simple chart can be used. First column, nozzles 1 to 5, then the flow, and then repeat it on the right side. Any nozzle that is plus or minus 10% of the recommended value should be re replaced. convert the total fluid ounces to gallons per minute and compare to the original requirements. 128 fluid ounces in a gallon, so divide the amount you obtained by 128 to give you gallons per minute. See part 1 of the video Calibration of Air Blast Sprayers, Changing Nozzles. These websites will give you more information on nozzle calibration and selection. This video was produced by Andrew Landers and William Lazalier at Cornell University in upstate New York.